अब भारत चौथा देश है जिसने आज यह सिद्धि प्राप्त की है changing current scenarios in the world of war where there can be likely any sort of aggression from anywhere and daily procurement of more and more defense related weapons and vehicles is a clear notion that the world is turning hostile and vulnerable for a country like india having our neighbors as our enemies is not a surprising fact but it will create a lot of havoc in future today world is being set false and fake news and communication systems are undoubtedly not giving us the actual information what we need to keep our country safe and secure indian defense research organizations are constantly striving hard and smart during the time of war anti satellite missiles can be used to intercept and jam communication or military satellites of enemy countries and stop them from communicating with their soldiers it can also be used to access critical information about troop movements or the incoming missiles hello and welcome to ssb crack exams Before beginning I would like to tell you that SSB Crack Exams is India's largest most preferred online defense exams preparation portal it is one stop solution for you if you are preparing for NDA CDS AFCAT INET Territorial Army and Indian Air Force Airmen Group X and Group Y you can follow us on YouTube Instagram Twitter Telegram and even directly visit us through our website learn.ssbcrackexams.com and even directly download our app from Google Play Store where you can have each and every defense related information and all sorts of exam related study material and content in your hands what is this mission shakti actually mission shakti is a program under which an anti satellite missile was tested on march 27th of 2019 by the defense research and development organization and satellite missile was tested from apj abdul kalam island launch complex and this is a very important information for us it was tested on the march 27 2019 what more about it what is an anti satellite missile is that there are space weapons which are designed to incapacitate or destroy satellites for strategic military purposes this we have to remember anti satellite missile is used to incapacitate or destroy the satellites did we ever use it no we never use it but this is a test and asat was just tested it is not officially used in any war or conflict until now India supported the United Nations General Assembly resolution of 69 by 32 on no first placement of weapons on outer space so this clearly indicates that India has no interest in weaponization of the outer space this is a clear indication that India thinks that the outer space is a common source it is a common resource for each and every other country next important information is that why do we need this kind of missile as of now it is because it was done to verify that india has the capability to safeguard our space assets okay india has the capability to safeguard its ground its territorial assets territory can be air water or even on the ground but india also has the capability to safeguard its space assets also this project aims to that india space must also be secured for many purposes and why only in 2019 it was tested i will tell you the complete story and the timeline the required degree of confidence to ensure its success was achieved by this time and the, it even reflects the intention of the government to enhance the india's national security india has seen an accelerated space development program since 2014 now we will see what is actually are the timeline of the events that are behind the construction and the success of mission shakti in 1999 india started to work on ballistic missile development program ballistic missile development uh, program is a very prestigious project and prithvi comes under that 2006 was the year when india tested its first exo atmospheric interceptor prithvi air defense In 2007, India tested endo-atmospheric interceptor Ashwin Advanced Air Defense. In 2007, in the same year, Chinese have launched their anti-satellite missile. By the Chinese anti-satellite missile, India also began its ASAT journey by this point of time. In 2008, the DRDO's Director General and Scientific Advisor to the Defence Minister, Shri V K Saraswat Sir, has hinted that India. possess the technology required for an asat missile in 2009 india began working on new exo atmospheric interceptor called prithvi defense vehicle this is pdv in april of 2012 saraswat has said that india possess the critical technologies here he even only hinted 
but by this time by april 2012 he was very sure and he was assured that india has the critical technologies for asat weapon from radars interceptors that there were for the india's ballistic missile defense program to get more in detail in 2004 14 maiden test of uh, prithvi defense vehicle was done and in 2016 project xsv1 was approved by the government of india for the anti satellite missile in 2017 first real time interception test of pdv was done and in the same year we have unfortunately lost our contact to resat1 which is a very key imaging satellite even being faced with a lot of downs and with a lot of problems here also india was very successful and by the year of 2019 a modified version of prithvi defense vehicle mark 2 was made and this vehicle tested its uh, missile on 27th of march 2019 on 27th of march 2019 this missile uh, has used an interceptor known as ballistic missile defense interceptor it actually struck a test satellite at a 283 kilometers altitude in low earth orbit since it struck an satellite it was called as an anti satellite missile what did it struck that satellite was microsat r next important information is that is india trying to weaponize outer space definitely no we have no intention of being in that race india is a party to all major international treaties relating to outer space and it implements several transparency and confidence building measures what are these transparency and confidence building measures sir they include the registering space objects with the un register pre launch notifications measures in harmony with un space mitigation guidelines participation in inter agency space debris coordination activities with regard to space debris management undertaking space object proximity awareness and collision avoidance analysis and many other more programs in which india is a signatory to all of them now we will have a very detailed analysis of what different people have said and how people felt about it in the li group india stands as the fourth nation after us russia china to have anti satellite weapon india is the only fourth country to have this sort of technology in the whole world asats are designed to destroy satellites during warfare or military purposes they are first developed by us in 1959 but we have developed this in 2019 china successfully destroyed a weather satellite using an sc19 asat in 2007 whereas russia has tested its first asat system on november of 18 2015 a strong india can be a guarantor of peace in the region and beyond our strategic objective is to preserve peace not prepare for war this was a statement given by narendra modi and even rahul gandhi has said that drdo was very uh, well done and he is very proud of it the test is also a reflection of india's growing capability it was said by dr g satish the chairman of the drdo everybody has contributed their own well especially the scientists of the drdo who are directly and both indirectly involved in this particular mission india salutes each and every person of you to get more in detail what kind of international law is included in this is that the very principal international law is that it is a treaty on space which was on 1967 outer space treaty india is a signatory and ratified it in the year of 1982 the outer space treaty only weapons of mass destruction in outer space india expects to play a key role in drafting of an international law on prevention of arms race in outer space so that is it about the anti satellite missile because india is the only fourth country to have been possessed this particular missile it is very clear intention that india is strong in its defense assets and india is always striving hard to keep its all sort of territories safe and secure for the citizens of india people who are watching this particular video this generation should be very proud that this sort of missile is tested during our times i wish that india will acquire more such sort of new capabilities and india will be a very strong safe and more powerful nation in the future stay home stay safe and jai hind